This is how you can complete the Kai Perico Heist the fastest way possible. We're going to use the Cassetka approach with these settings. Now swim towards the gate, cut it open and go up. You want to go towards this direction and make sure to take out your gun. In my case, I chose the aggressor loadout, which gives me this automatic pistol. Now line up these two guards right in front of each other and they might drop you the gate keys. If you still haven't got it, this next guard could also drop you the gate keys. In my case, it was actual that case. But if you still haven't got it, I will show you the other two locations where you could get it as well. The first one is right over here. You need to go up the stairs and the second one as well. And on the right side over here, you will find this guard. Make sure to always kill him when he is in this box. Because if you don't kill him when he is inside this box, the juggernaut will eventually walk over here, spotting him and alerting everyone in the compound. But if you still don't have the gate keys, take down this guy on the bottom. But if you still don't have it after this as well, there's one final option up the stairs which is right over here. Take him down and now you should have the gate keys. Now run inside the building and over here you can open the safe where you can get some extra cash. In my case I got around $76,000 which won't even fill up your loot bags so always make sure to take this. But don't leave this place immediately since there might be a painting above here. You can spot this in this corner or on the other side. This will fill up half of your loot bag which is definitely worth it if you don't have any other great loot. Now that you've collected the painting, it's time to get towards the primary target. Just jump off these stairs. I don't know what happened over here with his arm, but just keep jumping down the stairs. And we're going to go towards the primary target. Over here, go towards the left side and here you will see a fence. Jump over this fence and towards the right side, you will find the gate. Just open the gate. Inside here, you only have to do one fingerprint clone hack instead of doing two above. And how you have to do these clones is basically matching up the pattern on the right side. You only have to match up the first four since the bottom four are always correct. Now simply match it up and now you can go towards the primary target. In my case, I got the bearer bonds as the primary target. Simply cut open this place. And you will receive a text in a moment giving you the safe code that you simply have to match up in this safe. Now if you have any of the other primary target like the ruby necklace where it is inside this glass. You want to do the following. When you're overheating the glass you want to overheat it right around the end right over here. And then leave it until it's right at the beginning around this place. Now you have to do this a total of three times and you will cut to the glass the fastest way possible. We've now collected the primary target, but our loot bags are still not full. In order to fill this up, we need to escape the compound. Go towards the exact same place where I go, towards the right side over here, where you're going to open the other gate. Now to make this even faster, look towards this wall and jump right over it. This will speed up the entire part, also making sure that you don't get detected by any other guards that are watching that area. Now run towards this yellow marked place, and you will be good to go. Now over here, take out your gun and on this left side, you will find a guard. Take him down and get on his bike. We're going to take down one more guard to not get spotted. Since eventually, he will drive right over here where we just killed the guard. And alert all the other guards. Now with this guard, simply take him down. If you want to make it even easier, get off your bike and kill him with your weapon. Now simply follow this road that I'm driving on right now. Here we have two more guards that you want to take down. You can do the same exact thing. Since I got the aggressor loadout, it's pretty easy to take him down with the pistol. Now take down this camera and we're going towards the secondary loot spot, which is not far away from here. Simply go towards its right side in the mountains. You want to be careful to not bump into any trees. Just stick towards this right side of the mountain hill and you'll be there in no time. Eventually, you will spot this open area. Here you want to go towards the left side where you will find a guard and a camera. Always make sure to take down the guard first and afterwards the camera. Now you can get over here and collect the secondary loot. In my case, I got two stacks of coke. The most valuable secondary loot that you can get is what I got, which is something you always want to take. Underneath that, you got the green stuff, then paintings, and then the last one, which is the worst secondary loot, is cash. Now, if you've grabbed all the secondary loot at this place and your bags are still not full, go to this location that I'm showing you right now. 
Now get back on your bike and on this right side you will find the first guard. Make sure to take him down and be careful that the helicopter isn't in this area at all. Now keep driving forward and there's one more enemy to take down and now you can collect the secondary loot over here without getting detected. Now that we've completed the primary target and filled up our loot bag, we will complete the elite challenge which will give us an additional $50,000. The only thing that we have to do now is escape Cape Rico. You want to go right over here for that and kill one final guard which is over here. And now get off your bike and we're going to use this boat over here. Simply jump on it and go towards the left side. There will still be a guard here which will be looking at you but you can completely ignore him since at this point if you get detected you will still complete the elite challenge. Now keep driving forwards with the boat. There will be helicopters behind you, but you can simply ignore them since they aren't that accurate. You've now completed the heist the fastest way possible, but now you have to complete all these setups again. Check out this video where I show you how you can complete all these setups the fastest way possible so you can make the millions even quicker. 